Hello everybody, my name is Zool and welcome to Performance Mods for Oblivion Part 3. As always, this series is intended to help improve, stabilize, and pretty much make your Oblivion run a lot smoother, a lot better, and enable you to have a lot more mods. This is aimed at people with both low-end systems who just need to get the game running really well, and people with higher-end systems who want to be able to get the most mods possible and reduce crashes and other sort of things like that. So, uh, I I guess we should start talking about the uh, topic of today's episode, which is large address awareness. This is a fix that's only going to affect people with 64-bit operating systems and more than 3 gigabytes of RAM, so if you don't have that, I'm sorry, but this one probably is not going to work for you, and by probably I mean it's not going to work. So let me just explain a couple of things first. So we're going to be using CFF Explorer to make the game large address aware. Uh, I'm going to explain these terms in a little bit, but first let me get to the intentions. Uh, this is going to allow your game to use more than uh, 1.8 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty much the limit you're going to hit with Oblivion. Uh, this is a total memory increase as well. Uh, you have to realize that your graphics card also uses memory, and that plus your RAM is all that the game is going to use. So if you have a gig of RAM on your graphics card or more, uh, that could be hampered or vice versa. This is going to improve performance by quite a bit as it's going to enable uh, the use of higher texture mods without causing crashes or texture errors that may even lead textures to be missing from your game. So this is actually a very useful fix for those of you who have the hardware and software capable of doing it. Alright, now what is large address aware? Well, basically, to make your game large address aware, you're enabling the game to use more than 2 gigabytes of total memory. This is uh, video memory and system memory put together, so they're two separate things if you didn't know by the way. Basically, it allows you to use more than that, and if you know anything about RAM and memory usage for the game, you will realize that you're going to hit that ceiling pretty much instantly. I mean, if you have 8 gigs of RAM, you're only really going to be using about 1.5 gig of it on the game, and that can cause a lot of problems, especially with large texture mods. Uh, this, this will help 32-bit systems a little bit, but 64-bit operating systems are going to get much more performance increase out of this. But either way, I would recommend going through this trick. It's something that you've had to do if you've ever played Fallout games, and originally when Skyrim came out, this trick needed to be used as well, but fortunately Bethesda finally patched that in. So without further ado, I'm going to give you some instructions on on how to find out what your system specs are. Alright, so if you don't know if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, I'm going to show you a quick way to find out using Windows 7. Go to your start menu, go to computer and right click, click on properties and it's going to open up this window here. In the system window, it is going to basically have a little bit of information on your system here. We can see my processor and its clock speed. We can see the installed amount of RAM. So I have 12 gigabits of RAM. That's pretty good. But the big thing is the system type. It is a 64-bit operating system. If you have a 32-bit, your installed RAM is probably going to be pretty low anyway. So that's just something to keep in mind. Since I have that, we know that this trick is going to work for me. After finding that out, we can now go download a program which will enable us to change the flag of the game. This program is CFF Explorer. It can be found in the link in the description. It is a program that allows you to modify executables. It is fairly powerful. This is what I use. There are a couple of mods that do it, but they don't work for everybody, and this is a surefired way to get the game to run at large address aware. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download the Explorer suite here and we're gonna go ahead and install it. So it's gonna take a little while to download, so we're just gonna wait until then. All right, once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and run the Explorer Suite and begin to install it. I already have this installed on my computer, but I'm still gonna just go ahead and do it anyway just for you. You pretty much just install it like that. To tell if it's working, just right click on an executable and you should get a new option to open with CFF Explorer. That will show you that it's working. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to remind you that making ample backups is definitely a necessary step if you are going to be using this thing. So head over to your Steam folder or wherever Oblivion is installed. If it's the retail version, go to wherever that is, but I have my Oblivion as a Steam version. You go to Steam, Steam Apps Common, Oblivion. In here, we're going to look for the executable. It's oblivion.exe. If it doesn't say .exe, you probably have the extension for known file types hidden. So I'm going to quickly show you how to open that. If it didn't say .exe, head over to your control panel and select small icon so it looks like this and go to folder options. Once you're here, go to view and click 
hide extension for known file types. This will be checked off. You want it to be unchecked and click apply. This will add things like the .exe at the end of certain things, which will allow you to see what type of file they are. Even if you don't want to do this, uh, well, you should do it because it's just really useful information and you should pretty much always have it like this. Uh, once that's done, you will be able to find the oblivion.exe. Right click on it and open it with CFF Explorer, but not after copying it. So I would recommend just creating a nice copy and pasting that copy somewhere, uh, just in case you want to restore the backup in case you do something wrong. Then open up CFF Explorer. Once this is open, you're going to need to click here uh, on the file headers section, which is under NT headers. Don't click anywhere else because you could cause some problems. After that, we're going to click here in the little corner where it says to click here. Uh, and then there's a little box that says app can handle greater than two gigabytes of address space. Uh, we're going to check off this and click OK. We're then going to close and save. Yes. After that, our game should run large address aware. Uh, so you can go ahead and launch your game to test that out and make sure it works. For me, everything does work, and that's pretty much all you need to know about making the game large address aware. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it's helped you a lot. Now, I know there's going to be a couple of you who are like, I don't really feel comfortable modifying an executable. Uh, is there another option? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, there is a 4 gigabyte patch for Oblivion, and you can go ahead and download it and try it out in the description. I am not covering it in this video because a lot of people have problems with it and it doesn't work, and then I'm going to have to go around and and troubleshoot for it but if you really feel uncomfortable with CFF Explorer go ahead and give this a uh, try in the comments there's a lot of information about it online and on the mod page so you can go ahead and click download anyway that's pretty much it for me I hope you enjoyed the video please give me a like or a dislike depending on uh, what you thought of the video and please consider subscribing to my channel also while I'm asking you to do a bunch of stuff because I'm an ungrateful bastard uh, please check out my KOTOR LP I play through Terrace with the KOTOR 1 restoration project mod Odd. It is pretty good. A lot of people have watched it. Uh, it gets funnier as it goes. The first couple of episodes are a little lackluster, but uh, by the end I really get into the swing of things. People really do seem to enjoy the episodes though, so I hope you give it a chance and check it out. Thank you very much. I have been Zool. Have an excellent day. Man, I'm good at outros.